Hello world, it's me, Jamong Bai. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you guys didn't miss me too much because we're in the last half of this season of Jamong Bai Builds. 2024 is the year of the dragon, so I'll be kicking things off by building the Nanoblock Dragon. Weighing in at 700 pieces and standing at a 4 out of 5 difficulty, this is going to be a hefty set to build. Wait a minute, is this a boss battle? No! Everything that you see right here is what's included inside the box. But seeing there are a lot of pieces here, let's not waste any more time. Let's build up!
kidding me? Alright, let's take a look at the Nanoblock Dragon. This guy is 700 pieces and 150 steps worth of a carefully crafted display piece that benefits well from preparing your blocks before you build. Although there were a couple of noteworthy issues with an unruly orange ball and being pretty delicate from head to tail, the Nanoblock Dragon is nothing short of a great experience. There's more than enough to say here, given that I clocked in at a fun 2 hours and 51 minutes. I owe part of that fun to having Street Fighter the movie, starring John claude Van Damme, playing in the background while I built this model. I know, I know, it's not a very good movie, but it's... You know what? Don't judge me! I will say right away that it's good to have a plan going into this build. It is 700 pieces after all, so whatever's comfortable for you, just be sure that you prepare them for the long ride ahead and watch the Street Fighter movie while you're at it. I personally sorted mine out by step for the sake of this video, and by doing so, I stumbled into moments that I'm actually thankful that I took this approach. Seeing that this is a serpentine creature, there are parts of the dragon's body that calls for sections of repetition. There is one section that calls for building two of the same body parts, while another calls for seven. I may or may not have said this in the past. Always look ahead of the step that you're on. By doing so, you're making sure blocks are positioned correctly and being aware of having to build more than one of something as it was with the dragon. Because of that, I was able to see that I had to actually build multiple parts, which has me wondering, why didn't the instructions tell me that beforehand? Model kit instructions are a great example of how it should be done. They would tell you to build two of this part here. So before I even dive in, I know that I need to grab more pieces to make multiple parts. The instructions for the dragon, however, has you building until you arrive at the picture that tells you that you need to build two of that item or seven. So we're basically going from here to there to here to there to here. I mean, I figure after the first time you would say, you know what, forget it. I'll just go ahead and grab all the parts that I need. Unfortunately, there was one piece in the entire set that just would not cooperate with me. I'm going to call it a Dragon Ball. I mean, it's orange like one. I'm just saying. Check this out, right here, step 133. As you can clearly see, it looks like it should fit perfectly. It does not. 
I spent more than enough time on it and finally said forget about it, used poster tack, and moved right on over to the next step. By the time I reached the end of the build, I was feeling different emotions. On one end, I was satisfied with the build. On another, I was impressed with how it turned out. But I was scared to move it because it's so delicate. The finished dragon is a wonderful looking model. It has a nice color palette, it's nicely detailed, articulation in almost everything from head to tail, but sweet Christmas do we have a very delicate model here. This should really be a non-argument because I know that there is Nanoblock branded glue on the market for me to purchase. There's clearly a level of awareness here, not only with myself, but also Kawada, Nanoblock's company. But it's hard not to have complaints when I build something outright and I'm presenting it to the world, you wonderful people. And I honestly feel like if I move this guy the wrong way, it's going to fall apart. Needless to say, if you're looking to build this one one day, please purchase some kind of glue to hold this one together. I love the amount of articulation the dragon has, but don't be fooled, it is meant to be displayed the way that you see it on the box. All of these sections of the body may connect nicely, but they do not play very well with each other. Aligning each part evenly could cause blocks to fall apart, so it's best to twist and bend the joints as seen in the instructions. The dragon comes with a stand that you have to build that attaches to its back. Just make sure that you pay close attention to the way that the dragon's body is articulated to prevent the stand from tilting inward. With all of that out of the way, can we have a moment to appreciate the dragon's head? It's amazing. And he has a set of chompers to boot. Chomp chomp! The Nanoblock Dragon has articulation from head to tail. I'm gonna try to do this very carefully. Let's check the flex! Please, just take my word for it, these arms and legs actually have articulation, but I don't want to move them because they will definitely fall off. The Nanoblock Dragon is just about 15 inches long and displayed at 6.5 inches in height. Let's do a few size comparisons. Nanoblock Ryu, SH Figure Arts Sun Goku, Saiyan Raised on Earth, and just to throw a random one in there, the Funko Pop Aloy. Building Nanoblock across their different lines will provide you with a variety of experiences. The offerings are unique with each one. I've built advanced sets in the past, but this is the first advanced set that offers character and a bit of freedom thanks to its articulation, although very limited. Stepping into the advanced sets is something that you have to work your way up to. If you have experience in Nanoblock, you'll feel right at home with some of the offerings from the Dragon. Despite an unruly Dragon Ball and being one of the most fragile models that I've ever built, I'm glad that I was able to build this one and partake in yet another unique experience of Nanoblock's wonderful offerings. And that's it for today's episode of Jamang by Builds. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around because there's more on the way. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. In the meantime, keep on building. Peace!